So this one's going out to all the everyday people who um, don't have time to read 6,000 pages, 30 something chapters to see what's really going to happen to us. This is called Rebel Mum. You want action? I'll give you action. I can hang out. Two loads of washing round up four kids, have them locked down in their car seats and wipe the remnants of wheat fix off their faces all before you find your keys in the morning. That's action. <laughs> this is looking after our children, being a mother. This is where, when we're trying to get our kids to school, we know that children should always be at the heart of our education. This is about not closing schools down unnecessarily to make way for charter schools. This is about our kids. You want change? I'll give you change. I can talk a 12 year old girl into accepting menstrual cramps and headaches because her body is preparing her for womanhood and all the delights that come with it. All the while asking her for emo to allow her emotional growth to catch up with her development before she makes any decisions. That's change. So let's talk about health and pharmaceuticals and the woman's right to decide what happens to her body. You want protest? I'll give you protest. I am that mama who knows my child's whereabouts 24-7 and you better believe that I'll be hauling my tamariki out of any place that's not safe for them to be. Don't think I won't turn on you and rise to my fullest if you dare put my child in danger. The GCSB ain't got nothing on me. So let's talk about transparency. Let's talk about justice. Let's talk about Christmas Island. You want revolution? I'll give you revolution. The mere word revolution contains the word love spelled backwards. And that's what I will speak to when I grasp the microphone or stand on the picket line. We can all lead others if we remain mindful of where we are guiding them. Take them back to their own backyards for flax roots change. Build stronger foundations, unbreakable communities, tight knitted safety nets. So let's talk about our right to sovereignty. How we must stand unified against the atrocities that are the TPPA. Let's talk about sustainable futures, clean air and water and land and unblemished food. You want occupation? I'll give you occupation. I will occupy the shelter that I'm fortunate to have over my head. I will fill it with the scent of warm rewana. Make my child's bed to keep him warm. Toil in my humble garden and clean out the gutters because occupying my haven and filling it with the love and security of Fano will raise happy, healthy tamariki. The security of knowing that their mama will make all sacrifices necessary to raise strong warriors is what I will instill in them. So let's talk about state housing. Let's talk about government responsibility. Let's talk about the unsheltered and the homeless. You want unity? I'll give you unity. Never underestimate the determination of a new mum's walking group when they start talking about the urgent issues of today. Even whilst exercising up a sweat, wrangling a non-conformist pushchair into submission and making mental grocery lists, all on a budget of course, we still have the energy to band together to solve world dilemmas. That's unity. I am an activist. I am active in the world of my child. I recognise all other active mamas. We all have our credentials and none are more valid than others. Mine, Māori, Wahi, Mama. Oh, and I've got the power to change the world. Mum's a good like that. Thank you.